I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Theory exams are looming and so I thought it'd be a good idea to just have a chat about preparing for your exam and making sure you're absolutely ready to go. And so the first thing that you will have need to have completed is the Music Theory and Practice Workbook available from ABRSM or uh, any other music retailer or Amazon or anywhere online. That's your first job and remember that these are accumulative. So for example, if you're taking grade two, you need to have completed all of grade one plus all of grade two. And so of course, carrying that through, that means that if you're taking grade five, you need to have completed all of these workbooks. This will give you all of the information that you need for the exam. And I've worked through every single exercise in every single book to help you. And so all the videos are online if you want to revisit some topics to just check up on those. In, a, in addition to this, to accompany those exercises, I've provided some free PDF documents and they've got all the information that you need to understand to be able to complete the workbooks. And so also on the first page of the PDF document, you will find links to all of the YouTube videos to help you to relate back to the tutorial. So there's every step of the way I can help you along through each of those workbooks. And then on top of that, I then suggest that you work through lots and lots of past exam papers. Again, you can buy these from ABRSM or online or any music shop. And I've worked through every single question on every single exam paper from grades one to five through all of the years of 2014 right through to 2018. These are an excellent revision practice and even the older papers, although the exam paper has changed slightly in the layout and some questions no longer apply, I explain all of those little changes to you and there's still a really, really fab revision resource just to keep bringing things to your attention. They say that when you are revising, you should spend at least 90% of your time on recall and that means actively digging around in your brain and trying to work out answers, not just passively copying because if you're just passively copying information, it just kind of floats away and you don't retain that information whereas if you spend most of your time I'm sort of really working hard and trying to bring these things to mind you will remember it much more thoroughly and so these past exam papers are a great revision tool so do look up the videos to help you to work through those I always suggest that you try it on your own first of all and then just pop onto my video to the appropriate paper and just check your answers through and to just see what you can learn and work on there in addition to that just to help you to make most of the exam day you can buy my book, How to Take Your ABRSA Music Theory Exam. It's for grades one, two, and three, or a separate one for grades four and five. They are available from Amazon. And these give you tips on how to organize your time, how to work through your papers in good exam order, really great exam technique ideas, just so that you get the most use out of your exam time and so you're going to get the best marks that you possibly can and it's not been unusual for my pupils to get distinctions and also some have even got a hundred percent so if you just make sure that you make the most of all of that exam time and then um, you're going to get the best marks possible now just a last little thing to think about in the back oh, if I just reach back here in the back of the music theory and work music theory in practice workbooks there are lists of performance directions with Italian terms, musical terms, and performance symbols, and these will need to be uh, revised. And of course, as you work through the exams, you're going to get more and more, because once you get to grade five, all of the performance terms and musical directions they are in Italian, French and German and it's all of these books combined. So as the grades progress, your list is going to get bigger and it's really, really important to give some good revision time to those at the back of the PDF documents. I give you some little tests to test yourself and some revision ideas. 
Um, but one good way of revising those is to play a little game, get somebody to play a little game with you and they can have the book and choose the words. And it's called Hangman, which is perhaps not a very nice title. Some people now call it Snowman. And what you do is you write out uh, lines for each letter of the word and you've got to guess by choosing the letters. It's always a good idea if you uh, choose the vowel sounds first. And each time you get a, a letter wrong that doesn't fit with the word, you draw a little um, part of a man, sort of either hanging down or you can draw a snowman. And it depends how generous your partner, your friend is uh, in giving you lots and lots of uh, goes at it. If you're getting really desperate and you can't find the word, you can start drawing um, shoelaces and buttons and scarves or they can give you some tips and hints like um, give you the definition or give you a clue is it a tempo direction or is it um, articulation or is it volume those sorts of things and I also suggest um, that you perhaps group them thematically so in the books they are given to you in alphabetical order and I suggest you regroup them and even colour code them so that for example group together everything from grade one to do with slow or getting slower and then when you move on to grade grade two, you then add everything to do with slow in grade two to the list of grade one terms. And so you're going to list them thematically so you'll be able to see which terms relate to each other. So for example, um, Largo and Adagio are both slow terms, but they wouldn't come together in the booklet because obviously the letters are quite far apart, but really they're similar terms. And so it would be more helpful to group those together. And I would colour code them whether you think perhaps uh, fast should be read or uh, loud should be read just whatever makes sense to you there will be some linking words that perhaps might be difficult to group but you just group them as makes sense to you it's your revision plan uh, and so I find that a better way of revising so I do hope that's helpful to you just some tips and hints on how to be prepared for your exam there's lots of help available for you if you go to my website and I think the important thing is and this is strange advice but do enjoy your exam you've worked really hard you've done all of this preparation you're ready, you're raring to go and this is the time where you can now just prove your stuff and get on and do it. So uh, I think that's perhaps the most important piece of advice is be thoroughly prepared, make sure you've done the work and then once you know you've done the work then you can just enjoy it and see the fruits of your labours. So I do hope that helps, please do go to my website to find all of the information there and uh, best wishes for your exams. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.